Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, we got this tree cut up, got it uh, cut up, split up, and I uh, got it stacked over here on our, on our woodshed here. And we're just going to walk over here and show you uh, how much wood we got there. Not as much wood as I thought, you know, we would have got out of it. Um, but I think it'd be enough with my other wood, what we got this year, from last year, both of them put together. But uh, let me just show you right here. This is basically what we got left. And I've got a little bit more cutting to do here. Uh, not very much. Um, basically got just some really small two, two and a half inch limbs left. And I think I've got uh, one bigger branch. I'm letting these leaves kind of die down. Um, I think we got one more, I don't know, about maybe so big, you know, branch up under there that I can get some wood out of pretty long. Uh, but that's that's what that's what we got there, y'all. Uh, left there, I'm just going letting, like I say, letting leaves die down, and uh, then we'll get it and throw it over in this brush pile here. But let me just show you over here how much wood we got. We had uh, I had Summer and Austin, Tosh, all of us got it here, and uh, we worked on it one Saturday and got it all done. I appreciate their help. That's a good thing about you know having. You know family having your kids kind of happy and stuff like that makes a big difference you know if you got somebody helping you you know if you do it by yourself yeah you can do it by yourself it just takes you longer but if you got somebody helping you know pick the wood up or like say i'm splitting the wood they set the logs up for me as i split it and i just go there there you know splitting it but uh let me just show you right here what we got this is a uh, i didn't i just no, I didn't measure it off. I just kind of step it off. So it's about eight feet. And uh, I don't know how high. It's at least four feet high back here. A little bit higher probably. So we're going to have about two-thirds of a cord almost. When, when I get the other wood limbs cut up and stuff put up there, we're going to probably have close to two-thirds of a cord. So uh, I think that would be good enough as far as, uh, us, you know, like I say, we don't just use a whole lot of wood. I think the most I've ever used in a winter was like a, maybe a cord and a half, y'all. But uh, I don't know. That uh, stove heater I got in there, it's, just, it's got that catalytic com combustion converter deal in top of it. So it's real efficient on, on wood. And uh, like I say, I've got some over here from last year all up under a tarp that's been covered up. Then I still got a whole pile up there at my brother's up there I got cut up. So... We're gonna probably have, uh, I don't know, over, but we're gonna have over a quarter and a half, so we're gonna be good to go uh, as far as the wood this year. But uh, I just wanna bring y'all along, show you uh, how that turned out there and everything. And uh, while I'm here, let me just show you the pond there. We've been getting rain here and there over the past several weeks, and we got a little shower earlier today. Um, y'all, I'm gonna show you here this tree. Let me show you some of the limbs back here. You can see some of them I haven't cut up yet. But y'all, this tree, it was so, uh, it's a pretty tall tree, and it fell all the way out here in my pond. And uh, I had to take my tractor and pull it out. Uh, when I got toward the top of it there, I uh, cut it and pulled it out in two different sections. But uh, this pond here, it's filling back up with water, y'all. It was a lot low. You can see the bank over there. You can see how low it is still where it should be up normally. It's probably a foot, uh, at least a foot low right now. But uh, it's uh, slowly filling back in. We've been feeding these catfish every day. And we'll be bringing y'all along and showing you uh, some fishing next year, y'all. We'll be taking some of them out and cooking them. And we'll show y'all all of that. Tell you what, while I'm thinking about it, let me go get me some fish feed right now. I'm going to throw out there and see, see get some of them uh, feed and show you.
off a little bit here up close for the brim that was like easy. Supposed to be getting some rain tonight, maybe some storms and stuff. So maybe these uh, fish get the rest of this here. Maybe these fish want to go ahead and start feeding a little early. I normally don't feed them to about seven o'clock at night, and this is a little bit earlier. It's only maybe, maybe a little after six right now. So I'll try. Don't look like the catfish gonna be feeding right now. Uh, sometimes they're like that it's just um, they kind of funny that way uh, sometimes they'll just come top water and feed like crazy and then other times you know uh, they just won't feed at all but they got the food out there for them so when they get hungry they got it there to eat so uh, let me just uh, take y'all down here to my garden real quick I'm going to show you my mustard greens and stuff how they're doing and uh, I'll be back when I get down there alright y'all I'm going to show you while we're down here at the garden area I'm gonna show you this little pond right here. You can see it's got tons of little frogs in it. Hey, where you just step up here, you saw them frogs jumping off in there. Uh, it's filled up uh, water a good bit more, had all that rain and stuff. So it's getting a good bit higher now. And uh, once it gets up toward the top, I'm going, I don't know if it's in that corner right there, it's probably in this corner right over here. I'm gonna put me a, a drain pipe to a uh, overflow pipe to uh, drain it you know when the water gets so high but i'm just basically wanting to see uh where that low point's going to be and i think that corner right there where it's going to be but anyway y'all it's it's coming on up here and uh so i just want to show y'all that and here's the garden right here and um, the radishes y'all didn't uh come up as good as i hoped they would we got all that heavy rain and it really held a lot of rain over here in this corner here and all that over there, you know, just drowned out my seed. But you can see right here, we got radishes coming up there. Uh, it's radically, you know, along the edges through here. Some spots a little thick. Uh, so I'm not sure how good the radish is going to be. But as long as I got enough, you know, cut up with my mustard green, you know, that's, that's all I need. And so we got them all out in there coming up. So maybe we'll have enough, you know, come up and do some good. Then, like I say, on down through here is all my mustard. You can see it's coming up real good, and uh, it's supposed to be getting some more rain next couple of days. And it's already plenty wet down here, so we don't really need no more rain right now. But uh, you know, I'm not going to complain because we went all summer without much rain, and we could probably use it. But when it rains, this stays wet down here for a long time. But anyway, y'all, just want to give y'all update on that and update on my firewood and everything uh i'll bring y'all back when the greens get a little bit bigger there and and i uh, appreciate y'all watching the video hope y'all uh enjoyed the video today i know it wasn't much to it but just want to give you a little update on everything and uh as always friends my family years y'all have a blessed day we'll see you later bye bye